we're going deep into the TMNT Brawlers. That's right, Turtles Arcade versus Turtles in Time. We're gonna be doing that today, discussing that, seeing which one is best, along with some reviews of new games and some thoughts we'd like to share with you from our, the isolation in our homes and pandemic. Uh, this is Stone and Gaming, let's do it. Welcome to Stoned in Gaming. I'm your host, uh, Ronald Short. This is our first episode, and we are very excited to be here. You may hear some thunder <laughs> and some rain, because it is storming in Austin, Texas, where we are. Uh, but hey, you roll with the punches. We scheduled it for now, and we're going to make it happen. This is my co-host. Special special shout out to, to him being here, my, my bestie, Hello. Good, good pal, Nathan Minger fellow gamer and stoner yep we uh we just uh wanted to make a podcast vodcast which however however you're experiencing this <laughs> based on our interests and two of the big interests we have are video games and marijuana <laughs> um and uh doing both together because it's such a magical experience it's just a, a joy to play video games when you're just a, very stoned um <laughs> Yeah, uh, what are you smoking today, Nathan? What do you do? You do, do you know? Do you have any idea? Uh, I I don't know the name, but uh, I am smoking an indica. Indica, oh. nice dude. Yeah, nice. Feeling good. What about you, dude? Girl Scout cookies, which I believe is a, a sativa or a hybrid. Um, yeah, it's great. It's been great. Nice. Got I some, like it. Some bong rips in there before we jumped on here, and we're feeling great. Oh. Yeah. There's awesome our guest, thunder. Mother Nature. Uh, so yeah, welcome to our first episode. We're very excited to be doing this. Um, we're both isolating. We're staying at home, trying to stay away from people. Uh, why? Why another vodcast? Why? Why a podcast? Why two white guys making another one of these things? Why? Why? I don't know. You know, yeah, it's a very good question. Uh, for me, it's just uh, I've been. Uh, very enthralled and into gaming recently, even more so than I have been in the past. And uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos in the gaming world. I've been playing a lot of games, catching up on old games, uh, because I can't go outside. So why not enjoy things inside and stay safe? Uh, so yeah, I've been missing that experience also of sharing uh, a gaming experience uh with friends and like being in the room with them and playing couch co-op and uh hold for thunder <laughs> we're good go <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, so that's a long one there damn <laughs> anyway i miss uh couch co-op i miss being in the room with my friends watching them play something and uh so i pitched this idea to nathan and, and I mean, are you feeling the same way these days? Like, it's just. Yeah, definitely. Um, with isolation, not being able to really like talk to people. Um, we do have <laughs> online gaming, but that, right. you know, uh, that's not the same. It's not. Um, it's fun. Yeah, definitely. Convenient. Um, we'll talk about that too. I think probably in this episode a little bit, but oh, uh, sure. it's, yeah, it's, it's a completely different experience to just be with your friends and play video games with them. Yeah. Well, that's couch co-op or just watching them play something yeah uh or, or just chatting about games chatting about the, you know the last thing you played or whatever it's just yeah what's coming fun. out i yeah. love talking about what well what we're looking forward to you know yeah definitely. i hope to do that some in these in these things we, we'll see if this makes it past this episode but <laughs> yeah hopefully fingers the crossed. internet cancels us yeah <laughs> canceled <laughs> um yeah so Oh, I guess we should also say a little bit about ourselves. Um, I'm a, a filmmaker. If you, if you want to know more about my films, shortpicturesindependent.com. Uh, I made a web series with this guy. He started it with me. Uh, he's, he's been crew on a lot of my stuff, often collaborates with me on projects like this. And uh, yeah, uh, I also have, I don't know if you've seen it, but Stone and Starving, a YouTube video. This is kind of a spinoff of that. Sort of. It's in the stoned universe. <laughs> I mean, all of my stuff is in the stoned universe, I think. But uh, 
Um, but yeah, no, that's, you know, what about you, man? Like, I know you go for it. Tell them, tell them about yourself. Yeah. Uh, well, I am an actor and filmmaker as well. We collaborate on a lot of stuff. Um, I do improv. Um, I actually work at a tech company here in Austin. Uh, yeah. I play a lot of video games. I smoke a lot of weed. That's pretty much it. Hell yeah. That's, that, that was great. That was great. Sum it up quick. Yeah, sum it up quick. I like that. <laughs> Cliff notes. Um, let's talk about video games. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, we also want to let them know what kind of gamers we are. Like, this is the first yeah. app. This is our first... Thunder? Th -th thunder? No. Lightning with the thunder! <laughs> oh. But we are... Uh, we're gamers. We love video games. Uh, what kind of video games do you like to play? What genres are you into? Uh, honestly, I, I'm into pretty much all genres. I, I play something for a while and then I'll get bored of it and want to play uh, something else. So I'll start with a shooter, want to play an RPG, uh, you know, whatever tickles my fancy. Yeah. Uh, I have an Xbox, uh, a Switch, a PS4, and uh, a VR Oculus. So a lot of different <laughs> oh, yeah. ways to play. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of into everything. What about, what about you, dude? What, what do you play? Yeah, um, I also enjoy a little bit of everything. I think my favorites are first-person shooters, beat-em-ups, which we're going to be talking about a lot today. Oh, yeah. Love me a beat-em-up platformers. Uh, very, very into what Nintendo does. I like a lot of their stuff. They're, they're my faves. I've got a Switch and an Xbox One. Uh, and... Uh, I got this arcade back here. I'll play that sometimes. Um, oh yeah, wife got. We'll talk about for, that too. for the birthday. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, wife. Um, but yeah, no, I like I like everything. I like to dabble. I like to have things rotating. Yeah, I'll play I'll play Fortnite, Overwatch. Uh, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna go through the whole fucking list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get it. You like games? I like video games. Do you get it? Yeah. Sweet. Well, speaking of. One thing we're going to talk about a lot are uh, listicles because, uh, again, we're white dudes. We like to make lists. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking geeks uh, love listing things in order for some reason. All the websites do it. And we thought, why not us? Let's yeah. be included. Uh, top three video games of all time is what we're talking about this time, but it's going to be different every time. We're going to try yeah. to bring a top three every ep. Hopefully we'll have guests eventually and well, they'll also bring a top three. There's the th Thunder's top three right now. Really? Interesting. Wow. It said Pong. I don't know if you heard that. It's Pong. Unexpected. Yeah. The, the, the originator. The yeah. originator. Snake on your cell phone? Really? Snake? M Mother Gaia still has a, a Nokia phone. <laughs> Mother Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Top three video games of all time. You go first. Oh, well, actually, we should do it. Okay. Start with number three. Rules. Throw, throw it to me. I don't know how this is just, we're going to try it out. Just number the three. tip. Just put in the tip. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, number three. Throw it to me. I'll give you number three. You say number two. Throw it to me. Yeah. You know, okay. You, you get it. Okay. Got it. I got it. Number okay. three. My number three. Is, I'm excited. Is, I, I don't think you're going to see it coming, but maybe you will. I don't know. It's Mass Effect 2. Holy! The Xbox 360. Wow! I love that game. Uh, I think we, we I played that game a ton in college. I don't know if anyone has ever played it. It's such an in-depth game. Uh, I, I I was a huge fan of Bioware games before. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic, Jade Empire. Was huge fans of those games. Uh, also, before you continue, I want to mention we went to college together. Oh we yeah, didn't say that before. <laughs> no, That's where yeah, we we've met. known each other quite a while. Yeah. Um. I think you used to watch me play uh, Mass Effect 2 in college. I did. But, yeah. yeah. I never that, really played those games, but I loved watching you play those games. Yeah, just the, the depth of how uh, every choice you make just interacts or, or affects the end of the game and uh, the characters and, you know, the characters can die. and uh, It was just such an in-depth game. Yeah, that, that's, that's my number three for sure. Nice. What nice. about you? Number three. Number three. Super Mario Brothers 3. Ooh. That's, uh, in my opinion, the best Super Mario Brothers game. It was the one I was most obsessed with as a kid, and I think it's aged. I mean, they've all aged pretty damn well. 
But that game has aged really well. I think I think it has the best power ups. Frog suit, Tanuki suit, which is my number one. Raccoon, uh, the fucking Hammer Brothers suit. Ah, oh, that suit rules. I love uh, you know Big and Little Land or Giant Land. I can't remember the name uh, of it right now. Uh, but I just thought it had, had the coolest additions to the whole the, the whole idea of Mario and was something of, of its own and it stuck with me my whole life. It's just one of the best games in my opinion ever made. Definitely. And, and with uh, Mario Maker just revitalized that game. Oh, yeah. All those games. Yeah, uh, all those games. With, 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 if you never played that, definitely get it and do it. Have, have you played the update yet where they put in um, Super Mario I haven't. 2? No, I haven't. And I've seen like the out of the frog suit and yeah. a bunch of stuff. I uh, played uh, some of it with the frog. The frog, the frog suit levels people are making are pretty pretty cool because you can oh, like run across the water with the shell. Oh wow! I didn't I didn't remember that. I just knew you could swim really well. Yeah, yeah, same. It's, it's that's so cool enough track. Doing. Yeah, enough yeah, track. right, 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 right. Uh, number two. <laughs> number two. Number two. Uh, a kind of a, a more up to date game, but uh, I'm going to go with it too. Uh, Kingdom Hearts for the PS2. The first one. The first one, yeah. Okay. Um, nice. That game was just uh, – it took storytelling to a, a crazy place in video. Like, I've, I've never – I would say to this day, like, the, 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 the storytelling in that game, the way they weave Disney with uh, the Square Enix Final Fantasy universe was – like, it's such a weird combination of characters and, like, just just like two different completely yeah. two different things uh and they just and made it, it works work. yeah it does so <laughs> yeah. well it's so crazy um, it's yeah it's such a good game and the, uh, the music in that game too uh phenomenal phenomenal oh yeah one of my favorite moments in video games is in that game uh when mickey mouse shows up in the fucking robe oh, and fights God. fights the bad guys it gives me chills even when i'm thinking about it right now yeah, yeah. Uh, there were so many good cutscenes in that game. Just yeah, cool and shit. It, it does it does such a good job of you. Uh, you know, everyone knows the Disney characters, and you already have such an emotional character or emotional connection to all of them when yeah. they go through the stuff that they go through in that game. Because it's it's kind of dark. It's kind of dark. Game. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Disney let them do it. Yeah, yeah. It's it, amazing. It's, I mean, it's a child. I mean, it's it's a children's game, but it definitely uh, has some dark moments in there. That if I was a kid, I mean, I was in college when I played it, but if I was a kid playing that game, I think I would have been. I don't know how I would have felt about some of the stuff they they did. Sure. Um, but yeah, the, having that co- emotional connection already to those characters, and then watching them go through this new uh, journey and stuff, and having you know the things that happen to them happen to them. Um, did such a good job building new emotional connections. And I didn't play Final Fantasy games, but I find myself caring about those characters too, even though I really didn't know who they were. Um, oh, sure, yeah. So yeah, great game. Yeah, that was a really good game. You're right. My number two, number two, Shadow of the Colossus for the PlayStation 2 and the remake for PS3 as well. I'm a huge fan of big monsters. Uh, just in general, Godzilla started that for me when I was really young and I uh, had a lot of Godzilla tapes. And I just i have always wanted a game like this where you can climb and, I guess, murder <laughs> big monsters. Uh, I don't know, man. Just the lore. It's such a simple game. You're literally just hunting down these colossi and killing them. There's very little in the map. But you're, you, you, you see this world that they built and, like, just tore down, essentially. And you're... you're, you're walking through the aftermath and agro the, the horse i love him uh i fucking cry at one particular moment uh, you know i'm bawling right i'm not bawling but That's tearing okay. up right now it's even okay. thinking about it uh but yeah it's just a really powerful game it's 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 so it's mm, it's artistic but also really well made and fun to play and that's the kind of shit i look for yeah. Fig- like each monster is a puzzle and i love figuring out puzzles in this shit yeah i i remember renting that game as a kid uh in my hometown i'm from a small town in indiana we had it like came out one... when we were in college dude it came out when we were in college oh did it yeah whatever whatever <laughs> i i remember renting it for the first time yeah. uh and 
having no idea how to play that game. Like, yeah. I didn't understand the point. I re- played it and I returned it. I was like, I hate this game. Yeah. Then I re- watched you play it and I was like, oh, okay, I, I get it now. But I never went back and played it. Oh, you um, sure? Yeah, but I, I remember watching you play it. It was like, this, this game is awesome. Is there actually a game, I don't know anything about it if it's coming out, uh, that's like a, inspired by Shadow Colossus. It's supposed to come oh, out one uh, in the future at some point. It looks very interesting. Um, yeah, it's, it's more really to link from the future on that, maybe. Who yeah, knows? we'll talk about that. Yeah. Um, one thing before we move on past this, uh, I just remembered my first experience with Shadow of the Colossus, and the only reason I knew how to play was because I went to this guy in college, uh, just after it, right, right after it came out, I went to this guy's house for like a school project. It was me and one other dude and this guy, and we were going to be working on f- f- something in, in the class. And he like pulled out weed and was smoking it. And at this time, I was very uncomfortable with that. <laughs> and they were passing it around, and I was like, uh, uh, "I'll just watch you play the game." But the game was uh, super cool. Like it blew my mind watching him. And then I got it for Christmas, and I played it uh, weeks straight with with Amy. She was watching and helped me. It was, it was that's such a beautiful game. Yeah, Amy, Amy, your wife. Amy's his wife. Amy, my wife. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, number uh, number one. Your number one. Number one. My number one game of all time. I, I thought about this today, and I was like, ah, oh, you know, there's so it's many hard. great games. It is. It's, it's hard. so hard. Um, I would like to come up with like a top fifty list or something like that. Yeah, you should. But uh, you know, I think this game. Uh, I was to say it. Number one game of all time. Uh, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Uh, uh, nice. I thought about games that just that I you know Mass Effect and Kingdom Hearts were kind of newer games in college uh, that that I played, but I wanted to have a there a game on the list that I played when I was a kid that influenced uh, you know my love for video games and it, it's Super Mario World all the way. Um, yeah. I will you know I I respectfully disagree with you on some of your points about Mario. Super Mario Brothers 3. Having said that, that's my number two Super Mario game. Um, but I got I to gotta disagree on like the power-ups while the Tanuki suit, while, uh, amazing power-ups in Mario Rock 3. Suit, dude. All those suits. It's um, fine. You, you talk. Go ahead. The feather, the feather that gave you the cape. I love that. Such a inventive. Uh, okay. All right. I get it. You like the Tanuki suit, dude. The frog suit. I'm, whatever. I'm just smiling and enjoying um, your company. But yeah, no, that game uh, was such an influence on, you know, I think that's really what I, I remember getting a Nintendo for as a kid and playing, you know, I think Super Mario Bros. 3, the original Mario uh, on the Nintendo Entertainment System were the first Mario Game Brothers games I played. But man, on the Super Nintendo, they just reinvented it. And uh, uh, it was just such a beautiful game. It looked so yeah, different beautiful. than the Marios that came before it. Um, I, I just remember that anytime I played Super Nintendo, I always started off with that game. Uh, anyways, that's my number one game of all time, Super that's Mario awesome. World. That's awesome. That's a great game. Yeah. Um, I just like, it blows my mind how they started with the original Super Mario Brothers and they literally like, they like each actual like in, next incarnation was like an actual step forward. Like, not yeah. counting Super Mario Brothers 2, which was, you know, a remake of a game in, from Japan, mm-hmm. which is still great. I love that game to death. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. It, it's, too. Still, it's still inventive and different than, yeah. than all the oh, other it games is. in the it series, is. too. But, like, just graphically, the way the games look and, like, right, right, right. the art style, I think they've, uh, it's amazing how much they improved each time. Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World. Yeah, it's Super Mario Bros. Or 64. 64, um, yeah. Galaxy, Game yeah. All, all of them yeah. were... Odyssey it, is gorgeous. Yeah, it's crazy to think that to take this simple character that started off with such <laughs> a simple game that yeah. have built into the empire that it is and, and right. all the games that are in that library. Um, it's crazy. It's so crazy. This little chubby Italian guy. Yeah. Gives hope the to all Italy. little chubby guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We can take over the world one day. Let's go. <laughs> um, all right. All right. My number, number one. one. Number one of all time. Also by Nintendo. This is a recent one. And honestly, Shadow of the Colossus was my number one for a long time. I beat that game and I was just like, this is the perfect game. Put it away. But the Nintendo Switch came out and along with it, Zelda, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. 
Oh, I love this fucking game. <laughs> it's such a good game. It, I think it's the best open world game, in my opinion. A lot of people think it's empty. I just think it's beautiful. I love exploring. There's enough hidden stuff everywhere that it, you, like, you don't get bored ever. And the, you, with the physics stuff that they did in that game, like, you could do shit for hours and not do anything in the quest. Like, yeah. you could literally, not even a side quest, you just be throwing rocks at goblins or <laughs> fucking dressing like a... a I can't remember the names of the villains right now. Damn it. Lizalfos? Dressing like Lizalfos. Uh, is that right? The lizard chameleon guys? Uh, I uh, remember. Yeah, fuck. We're bad, <laughs> bad fans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just think that's an amazing game. And they, they did, like, it's the right step forward for The Legend of Zelda. And I've loved all the games in that series for the most part. And I think that's just made it the best it could be. Yeah. For Great sure. Game. Great, game. beautiful to look at. It's it's amazing. Uh, I just love the idea of an open world Zelda game. Like yeah. what, what a great idea! And, and it's not just open world too. It's it's got like elements of survival, like a survival game. Like you have oh, to yeah. eat, and you can't go in the cold without the yeah gear. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Uh, how again? It goes back to like even Mario. Like how that simple character has turned yeah. into what it is today uh it's crazy and and even still like even that game is still true to what zelda is you know oh yeah um like it's like the first game just just updated like it's like that's an open world you explore you're like looking all around now but now you have beautiful cell shaded graphics and yeah Yeah. gorgeous it is it is a beautiful game too i guess it's not completely cell shaded but the characters a little bit anyway before we move on to the news to talk about the news two things i wanted to ask well one thing yeah i can't remember the other one right now i'm stoned uh nes and snes do you say do you say nes and snes or do you say nes and snes Oh, NES and SNES. Huh. This is this like is a new thing. Nice. No, it isn't. Who says this is that? Like, this is like a new thing I've heard some people say, and it blows my mind. I don't know no. if this is a newer generation thing or if it's, there's been people like this this whole time hiding out uh, so we won't beat them up. But yeah. it's definitely NES, SNES. Definitely. Why would you so say I've never NES? heard NES and SNES. That's... Really? No, I've never heard that. Oh, That's yeah. wrong. <laughs> no, yeah, I agree. It's wrong. It's dirty. If someone said that to me, I'd be like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Are you having right. a stroke right now? Right. Oh, I remember the other thing. Um, potential sequel to Breath of the Wild. That Some people are you on, you, one right on now, YouTube. Or? Yep, yep. You ready? <laughs> Zelda's a stripper. Link, he's a pimp. I don't know. This is, I, this is I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it too. I'm going to go kill myself. Um, <laughs> not at all. Not, that's terrible. But Breath of the Wild sequel, like they announced it. Nintendo announced it at E3 last two years, last year, two years ago. And some people on YouTube think that that might be their holiday game because it's just built off of that first game. Like it's in that world. Of so they have year? the build. Yeah. Because they haven't, you know, they, because of E3 being canceled and everything, there hasn't been a direct announcing everything. Yeah. And they don't have anything in the works that we know of. Like I feel like if it was anything new, they would be announcing it now. Like this is coming. But with like Zelda, they can just say in October, fucking Zelda's coming. <laughs> and then everyone will buy it. Like, what's their that's, big game this year? That's I what know. I was just thinking. They're, they're really, I, I, don't, I don't think there are any. July, I mean, I we guess, have Paper Mario, but that's July. Oh, yeah. It's the Xbox One X and the PS5 are supposed to be coming out this year. Or Series X. Yeah. Series X. Yeah. I mean, whatever. All right. That brings us to uh, the news section of this particular podcast. Um, Nathan? Would you yeah. like to talk about the news? Sure. What have you learned? So uh, I've learned a couple things. Actually, coming up on May 30th, Xbox uh, is partnering with the Special Olympics. They're doing a stream oh. of a Forza Motor 7, uh, I'm sorry, Forza Motorsport 7 event. Oh, uh, they're cool. going to be streaming that live on May 30th on Mixer, YouTube, and Twitch. So that's oh, awesome uh, yeah. because of COVID, they're – doing this special event uh, with the Special Olympics to, you know, put that on. Um, That's incredible. Yeah, it's awesome since they can't actually have the Special Olympics, obviously, because of, of the virus. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a great event. So definitely check that out on May 30th. Awesome. Yeah, support yeah. that. Yeah. In other news, 
pulling up the news. He's just going to Kotaku. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. Uh, so recently, I don't, I don't know if you or anyone has seen, uh, PS5 recently put out a tech demo of their of the ps5 hardware and showing off uh what it can do yeah like a guy the, flying through a, a town yeah there was another one like a, a woman like going through like a cave system uh and it was showing off like the lighting and stuff uh it looked really awesome but they in recently and um i think this was a, a corporate strategy meeting the let's see this was the Sony's president said that the PS5 is actually going to be a hundred times faster, hundred times more powerful than the PS4. Hundred so, times. Hundred times more powerful. Does he it? Said, well, okay. Yeah, that's crazy, right? To think about yeah, that. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, he says, uh, "Let's see, what did he say?" In order to further enhance the sense of immersion in games, we expect to improve not just the resolution, but the speed of games. For example, uh-huh. through custom-designed high-speed SSD, SSD, we plan to realize game data processing speeds that are approximately 100 times faster than the PS4. Game, game load time should be much shorter, and play, players will be, should be able to move through immense game worlds in almost an instant. Wow. Think about that. Like Games like <laughs> Zero Dawn Horizon... Uh, it's like GTA. open world yeah uh, it's, it's, yeah speaking of the long load times <laughs> yeah. gta 5 has excruciating load times yeah holy cow yeah no, um, that's cool yeah what's other... what's xbox's uh, response to that what did they say how many how, much, uh, how many times can they do it they haven't said anything 200 so, 300 a million times they can process real Damn. world no i don't know they, they haven't they haven't <laughs> responded so should look out for that they well, were wait. actually i saw last week they were actually they asked about if the xbox series x could process and, and um show the same stuff that ps5 was showing their tech demo and, and they, they didn't respond to that so <laughs> oh god i don't know what that means uh if they're uh, waiting to show off their own demo or yeah they just don't want to i don't know who knows you said how much uh, okay, well, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get back, back to, you. to you. We'll get back to you. <laughs> yeah. So we'll get the developers on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Where's Gates? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in other news, we got some new releases coming out this week. Oh, Actually, really? there's one I wanted to talk about that came out last week on the 22nd called Man Eater. Have you oh, heard yeah. about this game? Yeah, yeah Man Eater. Uh, cool. uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of this game or, or seen anything about it, it's uh, basically you play a, a shark. And you you just do shark things, which is essentially <laughs> just just killing killing beachgoers and uh, eating fish. I see so, people like bursting through boats and shit. Yeah, like it. it looks so cool. I, I I might get it. I'm look. I'm see how much money I got. Move some funds around in my bank accounts. <laughs> yeah. Sell some property. Right. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that game. If you, I mean, it's already out. But if you uh, are into being a shark, uh, you know. That sounds way that. more fun than like a goat, goat simulator. You're right? Uh, yeah, I would agree with that <laughs> for sure. Um, coming up this week, actually tomorrow, we got if if you play on PC, Elder Scrolls Online, Graymore is coming out. Uh, Are you getting that? No, I don't. I don't play uh, that game, and I don't play on PC either. So, okay. no, no, but it is coming out later. I think in June for Xbox and. Uh, Oh, am I wrong? That... <laughs> it's not. Uh, for the Xbox and the other console game uh, systems. So Sweet. if you do play on those, keep an eye out for that later in June. Uh, and in other games uh, coming out tomorrow is Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I, I have Mortal Kombat 11. Um, I didn't have the previous uh, updates they did with the new characters like Terminator and the Robo others Cop. uh well the robocop is in the new, in the new oh, yeah. update yeah, and aftermath right. it's robocop shiva from the previous mortal kombat, mortal kombat she's four 3, arms, right? i think yeah she's like a, a goro she's like a female goro yeah. species whatever yeah. goro would be considered uh, yeah yeah and fujin who is like a, a if you raiden he's the god of thunder and fujin right. he's the god of wind uh so oh. in, in the 
com- in the Mortal Kombat universe in the MKU. MKU. <laughs> um, so yeah, I- I'm excited for that game. Uh, so I'm gonna be getting that, and uh, yeah, Sweet. Uh, maybe I'll review it or something on here. Who knows? Yeah, man, that's that's disappointing because like usually I'd come over and watch you beat up people with the new s- skins. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> I'll stream it and you can watch watch that. Ooh, maybe we'll talk about that later. Yeah, um, later this week. So. Obviously, new releases t- typically happen on Tuesday, but Nintendo, like apparently in, in Japan, Tuesdays Friday. are on Friday. So <laughs> their releases are on Friday. So this week, I think you'll be excited about this Bioshock collection coming oh, to the Switch. That's this week? Shit. Yeah. yeah. So all the Bioshock games um, come. You can buy them in a collection. I think you can also buy them individually. So really? Wow. I think oh, so. Maybe downloadable. Yeah, yeah. So keep an eye out for that. I'm super excited about that because I never played Bioshock 2 or Infinite. I love the first game. And then we have Borderlands Legacy Collection. Oh, but you're uh, excited about that. Uh, <laughs> I do love those games, but I beat them. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, would, I would like if Borderlands 3 came to the Switch. I have that on the Xbox One. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, if you are not, if you never played Borderlands, I, I really enjoyed those games. Um, great co-op games. Uh, I would recommend them on the nice. Switch. Nice. Uh, and then the last one, which I, I'm kind of excited about, I never played this game, um, but I might get into it since this is coming out. But it's Xenoblade. The definitive mm-hmm. edition is coming out for the the Nintendo Switch on May 29th as well. Yeah, so I guess That's that has all the one. DLCs. Yeah. So if you've nice. ever played. Super Smash Bros. That character, I can't remember his name. Yeah, uh, that's how I met, met all of those characters and Fire Emblems. That's yeah. how I met all of them. I know, not through their games, through yeah. Smash Bros. Yeah. So, and Sweet. that's all the news. <laughs> that's the way the news goes. <laughs> um, Sweet. No, that's that's great, man. I think that was a great first news segment. Yeah. Sure. I think we killed it, even with the storm fucking our shit up. Yeah. All right, well. It's great. We're great. We're, we are. <laughs> White men. White men. No, just kidding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> JK, JK. I don't, not, let's, I'm going to take that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, now we, we've got, we're to the moment we all came here for. Uh, each, each week, uh, well, we'll probably do this every two weeks or so. Each episode, we're going to be discussing a, a certain topic. Uh, be it a certain game, a certain genre. Uh, in this particular case, it's two games versus one another. So, uh, game of the week. Let's get to it right now. All right, game of the week. This is a big one. This is a big one for us. We're starting starting out big. Uh, th- this week we're discussing. This episode we're discussing. I gotta get. I gotta shake off that week thing until, until we're until we're in the groove. I don't know how how often we're gonna do this. I hope I hope we get to weekly, but let's let's not count our eggs before they're hatched. <laughs> um, but yeah, this week, damn it, <laughs> this episode, <laughs> it's a a TMNT showdown. At which also this is probably inspired it a little bit. My birthday was a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and my wife got me the arcade from One One Up Arcade, uh, which has Turtles Arcade and uh, team and T turtles in time. Uh, and those are the two we're going to discuss. We're going to, we're going to put them together. Uh, versus. We, versus. Yeah. If they were to fight in their own games, who would win? Who man. Wait, is that how we're doing this? Cause that's not what I, what <laughs> no, I thought about. No, okay. no, no, no. That was just some kind of stone thought. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't worry about that. Um, team and T arcade. It was produced by Konami in uh, 1989. I think uh, all of us that were born and grew up in that era probably played this and uh, into video games. They obviously the first one was the the arcade system, and then they uh, ported it to the NES along with other ports that weren't as good. But the NES port is the one that introduced me to the game. It's the one I played a ton. Like I played it a lot, and I never pl- I didn't play the arcade one until I was uh, older. I think maybe like at a Pizza Hut or something. But definitely the NES was my intro to that uh and then turtles in time tmnt turtles in time Turtle, teenage mutant ninja turtles turtles in time also produced by konami uh, uh released in 1991 and then uh it came out in 92 
well, the definitive edition, a lot of people say, for the Super NES, uh, because there's uh, extra boss battles, like with the Rat King and uh, stuff like that. So there's little extra moments that people enjoy. So that came out uh, just three years after, after the arcade. Uh, obviously, TMNT beat-em-ups were huge back in the day. People loved them. I, I've, some of my favorite beat-em-ups. Uh, which one is the best? That's the big question. Which one is the best? I know what I'm going to say, but I don't know what you're going to say. So let's hear it. What do you, yeah. what do you, what do you think? Well, this is a hard one. This is, uh, I'm with you. Like both these games were huge uh, in my childhood. I remember playing, me and my brother got a Nintendo, an NES for Christmas uh, when we were kids. And we had like, like we had, two games i think we had mario which it came with which had duck hunt on it as well and then tmnt arcade tmnt2 as it was known yeah on the nes yeah yeah um so yeah god such such so many memories with that game yeah. uh and then turtles in time like uh a different and and a who can, what a crazy story in that game, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. Like just playing that game and the first time you see Krang like on the on the bridge and he's shooting his his laser love eyes. Love it. Great. Um so for me though, I got to go with Turtles in Time here. Uh -huh. Um while the arcade edition again, a lot of great memories in that game. Uh, still a, a, an amazing game. Uh, nothing against that game whatsoever. Yeah. But uh yeah, Turtles in Time, I, I think a lot of things, one, it being released later, having updated um, sprites and, uh, and graphics and things like that, obviously made it more, as a kid, more, uh, you know, you wanted to go for that as opposed to, to the older thing. So I think that was a thing. But again, just the way the story took you through time and how each... Uh, stage was different and had different enemies and was all themed to that stage it was just so good um yeah. so yeah yeah that that's my that's my choice really? yeah so so that's my my choice turtles in time is my winner in the battle wow yeah, I should say that there's not really going to be a winner. It's just yeah, it's just, our <laughs> yeah. just a discussion. Wins. Yeah, we're just, we're we just win. Konami a trophy. So yeah, yeah. Fuck two that. white guys chose this. As... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be like in the garbage. Mark, yeah, it's just marker. Put it in the <laughs> yeah, piece of wood. Uh, I have to I have to go go against you, man. I uh, agree that it's very hard. It's very hard. Uh, to pick between the two, they're both very good games. And I know a lot of people uh, count Turtles in Time as one of the best beat-em-ups, if not the best beat-em-up, which I respect. I respect that choice. It's a very good game. But I just I have to go original because of, like, the moments in that game. Uh, I, I love the story. It feels more like like uh, an old Nintendo uh, – an old Turtles – I almost said Nintendo – an old uh, TMNT episode – like when I was a kid, they kidnap April, then they kidnap Splinter, and you have to fight all the, the baddies. I will say I do enjoy how Turtles in Time has, like, Leatherhead. Leatherhead's fucking yeah. awesome. I like the fight with Toka and Razor. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but the game doesn't have Bebop and Rocksteady, which is huge for me. I love Bebop and Rocksteady. Those battles with them in the first game, when you, you beat Rocksteady the first time, and when you're a kid, it's super hard. Yeah, but you're getting him bleeping like his color is flashing, and you're kicking him, you're kicking him, and he, you know you're able to pull it off. That's an accomplishment. Like it just felt so good. That was one of the first times I just like I beat that boss. That was a hard boss, and it took me forever to beat Bebop. He's a he's tough. That punch when you kick at him, oh yeah, devastating. His gun too. Oh my, yeah the yeah the yeah. fucking especially if guy. you're in close shoot, like hitting him. Yeah, yeah. No. you can't yeah. dodge that. Yeah, yeah, no way, no way. But. Uh, and, and then once you get past them and you get to like, I think the third level or fourth level and you're fighting foot soldiers and you're walking up to this like elevator that's closed and they're both standing on the other side and you're like, fuck, now I have to fight both of them. Yeah. I just think that's such a cool moment. And I love those characters a lot. 
And I feel like Turtles in Time has amazing levels. I think it's super cool to go like to a dinosaur level and shit. Uh, or a train like during the Wild West. All of that is super inventive. But then they have like, like the I don't know, there's the mud monster boss in the dinosaur level. Like why didn't they have like a a cool turtles villain? Like why did they yeah. make up a villain for that? I don't know. That's just that's a nitpick. I don't look, like he's all right to fight. He just looks like a big cum ball. <laughs> he looks like a ball of ejaculate. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he throws it at you and then you're like, I hate just... that game now. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I win. Turtles arcade. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, when they get stuck in it, I'm like, oh, I have to take a shower now or something. I can't remember what they say, but it's gross. It grosses me out. Um, yeah, and I think the Krang fight in the first game is more epic and the Shredder fight. I think the Krang fight where he walks out of Dimension X and you have to fight him in the Technodrome and then you're not done. Fucking Shredder comes out and he clones himself. And you have to figure out which one is Shredder and fighting him at the same time. You get to knock off his mask and stuff. I just think those are cool. Like the Super Shredder and Turtles in Time is cool too. And again, I'm not trying to convince you. Your, I, your opinion's great. I'm just saying, whoops, sorry, my bad. Uh, I'm just saying, like, these are the things that I love. Uh, Super Shredder's cool, but I just think it's like when Shredder's the same size as me and he's still kicking my ass. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's cool. And he has a sword. Uh, I don't know. He has it. I guess he has that in Turtles of Time, too. But. No, that's fair. Uh, I mean, I'll agree with you. A lot of great memorable moments. All the ones yeah. you have made, all valid. Um, I also love the skateboard level. And yeah. And Tim in uh, in the arcade version. Uh, yeah. I think it, there's one in in Turtles in Time in the sewer, like you're surfing. No, that's right? that's, that's uh, Turtles Arcade is the surfing one, and in, oh. uh, Turtles in Time you're surfing on a hoverboard. Oh, right, 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 right. Bridge. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I, I always felt in Turtles in Time like I, I like that, but I always like the one in the T arcade better. Being the sewer. Having, yeah, having said yeah. that, I liked everything about Turtles in Time. Like like I said, it was sure. just more I don't want to say creative, but like I said, I just like the how you go to all these different worlds. Uh to me it was I, I like that it was I always thought of it as a as a continuation of like a of the arcade game. Like I thought it was oh, I yeah. always thought it was a sequel. Because it kind of starts off as it is, kind of. Yeah of you going back and you know i don't know it, it yeah anyways both oh, yeah. valid points i think um, those are they're both great games too and it's hard it really is hard to pick between the yeah two. have you i know you've played the arcade version on your arcade over there behind you <laughs> have you played you played turtles in time as well i assume yeah i actually played that on my birthday on facebook live i played it straight through oh nice yeah i was drinking and i'm gonna do that again for this Nice, we'll talk, great. Talk more about that soon. Awesome. Um, but yeah, what's your connection to turtles in general? Before we continue with the game, like, what is your what is your relationship with the Ninja Turtles? Oh, we're best oh. friends. Yeah, uh, yeah. We hang out every weekend. I was with them Can yesterday. I get their numbers? No. Oh. Uh, I mean, I think the same as yours, probably same as every white thirty-something <laughs> male. Uh, you know, I uh, watching it on TV as a kid with the animated show. Uh, on whenever that was on who knows um started there had all the toys growing up whoops yeah uh making some noise over here um i mean no no problem no bad (laughs) um so yeah and then from there obviously getting the arcade uh on the nes uh but yeah ever since watching it on tv as a kid was was hooked you know yeah um wanted everything turtles uh had all the toys had clothes um so yeah what about you I, i'm assuming i'm assuming it's, it's probably pretty, the exact same thing it's pretty similar yeah 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 i was obsessed with the show um first and foremost and it's it's interesting to me how like the show came after the figures so i don't know if i got the figures before the show or i'm pretty sure the show was the reason i got into it uh, i didn't know that the toys came before the show yeah, which uh, well, they based it off the comic books originally. And, of course, the comics were super bloody and, you know, I'm pretty sure they were yeah, cursing yeah. And, and all that good stuff. And so they made them more kitty. They, did, you know, took away the red, uh, the red bandanas to make them more identifiable. And uh, then they had this toy, but they didn't have 
like a thing kids knew them from. So they're like, well, shit, we need to make a show based off mm. of this version of this. And then, they, you know, specifically bringing in characters like Leatherhead and uh, Rat King and just to make figures. Like it was literally just wow. for the figure line. <laughs> yeah. Which huh. is, I mean, cool. I mean, I liked all of them. I wanted yeah. all those figures. So, yeah. I had the Rat King in his little boat. Like, four. yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. You like actually squirt gun. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. You squeeze it. Yeah. yeah that, that boat is like the boss in Turtles in Time. Yeah. Yeah. That's in, so cool. In the sewer level. Yeah. Yeah. That was another um, reason I liked that game because I had that toy. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I, I will also give it to Turtles in Time for having Baxter as the fly version, not yeah, yeah. the scientist. The fly version is super cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, from there, I, uh, I, I, the video games, of course, which the first video game fucking sucks. Yeah, I had a friend that had that game, and I remember playing it. I was like, this game is horrible. It's so hard. But I it's... did like the, the Arcade 3. Uh, oh, yeah. That game was awesome. The Manhattan Project? Yeah. That game was incredible. I want to talk about that game too. Uh, But we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) uh, But no, like that was one of my, my, one of my first Nintendo games. Well, I guess not because it came out a little later. I don't remember when the the NES version came out of that, that first game. Uh, But yeah, super hard. I hated the levels where you had to swim. Uh, Anything that makes me that frustrated is not a good game. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But then Turtles uh, Arcade came out, Turtles 2 on the NES, like you said, and I was obsessed with that game. Yeah. I felt like that, that was the cartoon come to life. The, 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 the sprites were amazing. Yeah. All the bosses were cool. Even uh, the boss battles were so freaking hard in both of those games. Yeah. If you don't, if you're, especially if you're playing with quarters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your, your parents' quarters, of course. Right. Yeah. Not, not at our own quarters as adults. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As adults. Yeah. <laughs> that, does that thing cost quarters? You don't have to put quarters in that, do you? No, no. <laughs> uh-huh. No, I get unlimited lives on that, thank God. Oh. So it makes it super easy to beat. Um, <laughs> but no, I was obsessed with those games uh, as a kid. And then I kind of followed as an adult, too. I just, it's a franchise that I, I have loved my whole life. I just think it's fun. I love the characters, uh, the personifications of the different turtles is. Who is who? Okay, let's. I know who your number one is because we both share the number one. But let me hear your ranking of the turtles. Let's just do that in the middle of this. Yeah, sure. Let's break that down. Uh, Michelangelo, number one. Number one. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I gotta go. Leonardo, number two. He was my favorite as a kid. Um, and then Donatello, and then Raphael. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, go you. Yeah. No. Um. So my original ranking when I was like a kid, uh, Michelangelo's number one in all of my rankings. So we, should we share that bond? Uh, but the rest of the list, okay, so first and last are always the same. Michelangelo, number one. Leonardo, number four. I'm not a Leonardo fan. Um, but then, so originally it was Raph and Donatello, mostly because red was my fa- is my favorite color. <laughs> As a kid, that was like my ranking. I mean, orange is, a, I mean, I wish Michelangelo wasn't orange, honestly. Like, or- it works for him, but it's not my favorite. Like, that color, <laughs> color's off-putting. <laughs> um, but as a kid, red was number two, because it was red. And I also like how Raph has evolved, like, as a character, too. I think it's cool having him have that, uh, you know, split, like, I I get upset about these things, but I also love my family and like trying to work that out. Like he has anger. He's working through, you know, and that's yeah, relatable, yeah. relatable, relatable. Um, He's also then, a teenager, man, you know, right. Puberty. Yeah. Um, but recently watching the more, uh, well, not the most recent Nickelodeon show. Cause I haven't seen that actually, but the CGI, like 3d model one, uh, Donatello. I love him in that show. And he became, my second favorite because of that show. Yeah. I mean, uh, like the movies never really got Donatello right. The first movie kind of did, but the second movie made him like Michelangelo. Like he was cracking wise even more yeah. than Mikey, which yeah, drives yeah. me nuts. <laughs> I mean, I love that movie, uh, mostly for nostalgia and because we saw Ernie Reyes drunk <laughs> at the Alamo draft house. Another great story. Ernie that Reyes. Was, that was the turtles. That was a uh, old turtles though. That wasn't the new one. Was it? Oh, I'm talking that was about like the a old, pizza party. The old movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, the yeah. second movie. Uh, yeah. Secret of the Ooze. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was a pizza party. We had got unlimited pizzas at the draft house and Ernie Reyes was there for a Q&A and he was super wasted by the end. And uh, he actually had to pause the Q&A to go take a piss. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we get a drunken picture with him afterwards. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll share that right now. I'll put it in the video. You'll see it. Uh, somewhere. Nice. Somewhere. somewhere. Um, no, yeah. So I have, yeah, obviously, we both have a deep connection to these, yeah. these, this franchise. Um, yeah. Oh, and so let's talk about the other games. This is a video game podcast. So let's focus on the games. Uh, you were bringing up Mutants in Manhattan, Turtles 3, Mutants in Manhattan. Yeah. A game exclusively developed for the NES. That was oh, made really? for the NES. Yeah. That game is awesome. It's amazing. I, I never had that game. My friends have it, but I remember going over to my friend's house just to play that game. I didn't want to hang out yeah. with them. You're I right. just wanted to play that game. It's so cool because you can do like special moves. Like uh, Michelangelo has like a kangaroo kick and he pushes off. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. Uh, and, and the bosses in that game, like, if that game was more regularly available, I, I feel like it would be in the running. But these other two are, are, well, yeah. and these are like the are, popular ones. Yeah, yeah. Those, these are the classics. Right, yeah, yeah. But the, the bosses are – there's way more bosses from the show. Like, there's a dirtbag, that, like, mole character you have to fight on the subway. Oh, right, like, he right, he digs right. through and he jumps up. Uh, let's, there's the bowl. I forget the bowl's name, but he's like a robotic bowl that has like a gun for a horn. Remember that guy? He has like a, I don't remember a Terminator, that. Terminator eye. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I can't remember he's, his name. I have a TMNT poster with him on it from the cartoon. He's on it too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, they have Leatherhead. They have Baxter. They have Krang. Uh, that game is underrated in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I need to, get, I need one, to find that game. Is that the one there's a level on the beach, right? Yeah. That's the opening. Yeah. 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 yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, the turtles are on vacation, and then yes. Shredder shrinks down Manhattan and puts it in a globe. That's and right. April, April's in the globe, so you have to help. We basically, fight foot soldiers on the beaches of Florida. To work. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a road trip, I guess. I don't know. That'd be awesome. That would be a great movie. The TMNT road trip movie. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that movie and oh. three quarters of it just be a road I'll do trip. It. <laughs> so we'll give them the money. It'll be a fan, a fan movie, but. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Um, Poorly made turtle costumes. Yeah, yeah. Socks colored green, <laughs> painted with the. Okay, this is stupid. Um, <laughs> other games in the in the franchise that we should talk about: uh, Team and T, the Hyperstone Heist for the Sega Genesis. Did you play uh, that game? Yes, I had that game. Uh, no, I didn't know how to get. Me and my brother used to rent that game all the time. I rented that game too. Yeah, great game. Yeah, super great game. I love that um, game. It was that's awesome. That's also just a Turtles in Time remake, though. Did you know that? I did. I remember it being similar to because it yeah. also has Krang on the bridge. Right. Yeah. It's, it has not, it, it's not. A, so. Is it a one to one? Uh, no. Remake? No. 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 Oh, like some different of the, things. There's different. It's a little different because some of the levels are longer and they cut out other levels from the SNES. Yeah. Like the SNES version is the better one because it has everything. Yeah. 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 But um. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. I never realized that as a kid. I didn't realize yeah. it was a remake. Maybe it was uh, just in time, but still. Last great games. Yeah, absolutely. Um, last game in the Konami, I believe the Konami, uh, at least for the consoles, the Konami produced games. Team and T Tournament Fighters. The Love fighting game. that game. <laughs> Loved that game. Uh, I mean, if it was on this versus it wouldn't have won but i like fighting games i love fighting games uh that game was so cool like each That's turtle cool. had their own special moves that were like themed to them i remember donatello i love donatello in that game one because oh, yeah. his bow staff had such long range yeah and no one could touch you and his yeah. special move like he shot this purple dragon out of right. the end of it it was so cool oh yeah, yeah. uh and then like all the villains like you had the uh what were the Triceratops guys called? Uh, Triceratons? I don't yes. know. Something like that. Yeah, I think they had those in those games. Like all the all the characters. I love the the style of it. Uh, like the art style of it. it. It just looked really cool. Yeah. I love that game. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I feel like it wouldn't hold up if we played it today. Because I just watched videos of it like for really? this. And it looks kind of weak. I don't know. I really? ne I never owned it, but my cousins did. So I like always wanted to play it when I was over at their house. They had it for the Sega or SNES videos. But yeah, I it just looks it. a little a little rough. I don't know. I'm sure it's mm. fun. I'm sure it's mm. fun. 
I, I did. I did enjoy it as a kid. Oh yeah. I mean, watching yeah. it was like, oh wow, it's yeah, magic. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like that's really the last of the solid games, at least by Konami and in uh, like the kind of 16-bit era, 8-bit, 16-bit yeah. era. And then you have like a bunch of kind of um, average 3D games for a while. Uh, I only really played one on the GameCube. I can't even remember what it's called. It's based off the first series, I think. Oh, wait, no, it was the series that Fox did before Nickelodeon got uh, the Turtles. So it was like the, the live action series. No, no, no. It was a, the cartoon uh, came out in the early 2000s, I think. But I played the Genki version of that. That doesn't matter. Mm. What I'm All getting right. at is the 3D games have not been great. Obviously, they, yeah. they, these side scrolling beat em ups have been amazing. I think they've aged wonderfully, like fine wine. Yeah, yeah. They did a remake of the arcade version for the 360 about. I don't know, five, six years ago? Maybe yeah, longer than that. We had fun with that, getting drunk in your room and playing that. That was another yeah. experience. How old? That, is it that old? Yeah, something like that. It's pretty old. Hmm. For the 360. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a great game. I mean, yeah, it was a remake, fun. but the updated graphics were cool and everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that uh, what, what was it? Oh, yeah. But recently, we have played something else that I would argue is a pretty solid 3D Turtles game. And that's uh, Mut- Mutants in Manhattan. Yeah. Which we got for this episode. Yeah, hard, it's, uh, hard bosses, hectic fighting, but, but fun. Yeah, yeah. I would describe it as uh, almost, did you ever play like Dynasty Warriors? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh, I yeah. would kind of describe it almost as that, but not as many enemies. Obviously, there was like no. hordes of enemies in that game, but yeah. the bosses were kind of hard. Not this hard, but <laughs> yeah. I remember when this game came out, everyone kind of gave it crap because it said it was like not good or whatever, but I'm I, I'm having fun with it. I think yeah. it's a solid TMNT game. Especially for 30 bucks. Like it's it's a good deal. Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> but yeah, I remember I was look, watching videos and seeing like fucking Bebop come out with a chainsaw. Yeah, that was like so I cool. thought it looked so cool, but everyone shit on it, so I avoided it. And yeah, I wish I did it. Honestly, like I I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's also I wanted to mention this game. Uh, yeah, there's a place in Austin called Pinballs, oh, and yeah. they have an updated arcade game uh, from the I guess it's the Nickelodeon series. Is yeah. that right? Um, team and Nickelodeon Turtles is like a big arcade beat 'em up side scrolling game. That updated. one's pretty fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, I think it's definitely inspired by the arcade. Oh, for uh, sure. The Team and T2 arcade that we're just talking about. But uh, yeah. I, obviously, I think it's only an arcade. I don't think you can get it anywhere else. Uh, right. No, but if you so, live yeah. in Austin, I, I would definitely go check out Pinballs just in general because it's an amazing place. But yeah. if you're into the Team and T, that game is pretty pretty fun. When it's a little safer, go to the pinballs. Yeah, not now. Good, Just good go, call. I want to go to pinballs now. so bad, but like everybody has to touch the things there, like yeah, the buttons, no. the controllers. Not enough sanitation. Not, no, we're not there yet. We're not no. there yet. Not no. for our kids. Not you can until you can sanitize the air around me. Right. Yeah. I'm just uh, going to bubble. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. I spilled water on myself just so everyone knows <laughs> when we were talking. Um, yeah. No, that's a great game. You should have talked about that uh, earlier. It was fantastic. I forgot. Um, right. Mutants of Manhattan, also a good game. I think you should get it. When it comes to the old school games, I say arcade. He says Turtles in Time, but they're both fantastic games. Let's yeah. be honest. Definitely. Let's, let's be honest. And you can share your thoughts in the comments below <laughs> if you want to do that. Um, and that brings us to the next segment. So we don't have a winner. But uh, everybody wins if you're playing Turtles Arcade or Turtles in Time. True. Everybody's a winner. Sure. Ready to go. We love Turtles. Uh, bring us on to help make Turtles stuff. We'll do it. Yep. Anytime, any place. Next segment, we've got reviews and recommendations. That's what we're talking about now. Reviews. Let's see. Um, this time, I mean, it's kind of hard to – There's. Not a lot of new game. I guess you listed a lot of new games earlier, but it feels like games are going to slow down eventually. So yeah. we're going to talk, try to talk about new games, but also just games we're playing as well. Just recommend you play. And then yeah. we're also going to talk about a recommendation of a pop culture 
item. It doesn't have to be a game. It could be a movie, book, show, or a game. Uh, at the end there, right before we get to our f- final words. Um, so yeah, let's do reviews first. Cool. First and foremost, Animal Crossing. Yeah. I think we were talking about that a second ago. Uh, that's a game we've been playing. We've been playing it together, visiting each other's islands on and off. Yeah. What a uh, chill game to play and just uh, do nothing in. Uh, yeah. I'm trying, currently I'm trying to get uh, one of my neighbors kicked off my island because he's a piece of shit uh, and I hate his guts. So um, also which, like. Which animal is that? Uh, his name is Zell. He's Zell. a gazelle. The gazelle. Uh, I just want everyone was, to know. I'm going to just give you the backstory on this piece of shit. <laughs> so you, you can all, I'm sure you're all thinking, well, Nathan's being a little harsh on Zell here. We got some he Zell like a nice, a nice friendly gazelle hanging out and living on your island. No, this cocky bastard. <laughs> uh, first of all, I, I invited my good friend Ronald here to my island and he came over and he was talking to Zell. They had, they struck up a conversation and, uh, out of nowhere, Zell just proclaims to Ronald that if if our if Hydra Isle, my my Animal Crossing island, were a game show, that this piece of shit would be the host. <laughs> that this motherfucker, the eighth member of Hydra Isle, would be the host <laughs> of the game show. No, you're you're a hundred percent wrong there, Mister Zell. I would be the host if it were a game show. <laughs> And now you're getting kicked off the island. So right. clearly right. I'm right in this situation and Zell's got to go. <laughs> um, and just an update, landlocking him with your terrain altering tools yeah. doesn't work. He just escapes. That's too bad. So, that's, too bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I, I, I think it's great you hold a grudge against your animals. <laughs> Just that one. All the others I love. Pinky, That's great. Pink, she's a pink bear. Love her. She's the best. That's uh, great. Zell sucks. I think we're going to have to have Animal Crossing updates with each app. We'll see where we're at. <laughs> if we're still going yeah, strong yeah. with it. Um, yeah, I've had animals I uh, haven't liked, but nothing uh, like that. It's just been mostly like, oh, he's he, they're, they're pink. There's too many pink animals. I had like four <laughs> pink animals. That sounds And some of them are just racist, boring. dude. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just hate peak animals, right? That's fair. Um, but uh, yeah, I, just, I was able to get rid of my worst one. Who was she? Was Diana the doe? She is uh, okay. a uh, also okay. So now I'm remembering. I, I hated Diana. Diana was a real piece of shit. <laughs> Let's hear. She, it. I want to hear the she, backstory on Diana. So you know how they all have like a tick, and they say like things at the end, like yeah, yeah, you no know, uh, snorkel or was was a <laughs> She always said, no doy, at the end of everything. Ooh. So not only would she say something smug, like, you haven't talked to me forever, Ronald. What's going on? And she would also say, no doy. So it's just like, it really pissed me off. Yeah, no. I, I get that. Sent me a, a, a rage spiral. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about how mad I got at Diana. Yeah. Yeah. A- even my Amy, anger. <laughs> Amy, Amy, my wife, started playing it shortly before i was able to get diana out of there and amy was like i don't get it i don't know why you're you're so uh you know so against diana but then diana like insulted her hair or something and she was like she's gotta go <laughs> get her out of here yes well, so I'm yeah glad... diana's gone awesome who 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 replaced diana more uh, that's a good question alfonso the alligator Oh, he says it's a me like Mario. It's pretty oh, funny. I I want Alfonso now. <laughs> yeah. he, he likes snacks. Uh, oh man, lays on the floors and talks to his bugs. He's a, he's a great guy. <laughs> he sounds amazing. <laughs> he's a great, what a guy. perfect neighbor. And we also uh, got uh, Ellie recently, the elephant. We uh, we had another alligator who we kicked off, who we kind of missed because he was the only one with a deep voice. But he also dressed like another uh, another animal all the time. So. Ellie's an elephant, and she's just adorable. She's a nice. cute little elephant. Nice. But yeah, what we were saying earlier, this is a chill game. I love to smoke and play it. It's so chill. Yeah. And uh, there's no pressure to do anything. You can do whatever you want. You yeah. can just walk around for a while, talk to everybody. Yeah. It's, we should do... it's, a, chill, it's a chill game until uh, your, your animals inspire rage in you, and uh, yeah. you, you do everything to get them kicked off your island and, and leave you, them homeless. You've caught... 1,005 sea basses 
<laughs> you want to burn down your entire island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's some things that are infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's, but it's easy funny. to get overlook. Easy to yeah. overlook. The, the good far outweighs the bad in that game. It's pretty, Definitely. It's probably the best version of that, that game, I'm sure, that's available. Yeah, I will I – will, concede i don't know if you've been reading articles and stuff a lot a lot of updates that should be made to that game sure uh, oh like bulk bulk uh crafting crafting my yeah. god oh that would save my god so yeah. much time yeah there's a little bit of text there is in that game yeah blathers like, needs to stop telling me yeah, oh damn my god. stamp rally yeah blathers just needs to shut up in general i just want to <laughs> drop this stuff off blathers and go Skip, i don't yeah. need to hear about the, the Tyrannor, Tyrannosaurus tail. Again, right, yeah. I know. I know what he is. Yeah. yeah. I love Blathers, but yeah, he just he just talks a lot. Yeah, yeah. Shut it up. Anyways. Anyway. Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing, great, great we'll, game. We'll have uh, more updates, I'm sure. Yeah, I recommend that if you if you have a Switch. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure everyone has it at this point, too. It's like yeah, yeah. two months if old. If you can find it, though, right? Switch is... Uh, oh, Switch is very, yeah, they're pretty low. Yeah. Low in quantity. So, but, yeah. Next game. Next uh, game. We'll and we'll keep uh, this one shorter because we don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, a game that I've been playing that we've actually been playing is a lot. Yeah. Sea of Thieves. Yar. For the Xbox One. Uh, if you have that's Game fun, Pass, that's a fun game. It really is. Uh, if you have Game Pass uh, and a couple of buddies, you don't even need some buddies. You you can play with play by yourself too. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I would um, say though, it's most fun with people. Yeah, definitely. If you have some friends to play with, starting up a pirate crew and, and going oh, yeah. killing skeletons and that's a lot of fun. Until you run into a kraken and then it's horrifying and infuriating. Yeah, that's the only thing I would say. The kraken needs some updates. I love the kraken. Like yeah. until you hit it for the fifth time this week. Yeah. And it you, takes all of your treasure down with it. Yeah. Then the then you hate that game. But other than that, uh, yeah. uh, I yeah, feel like that's yeah, like why we took a break recently. Like we were playing a yeah. ton and we haven't gone back for a few days. Yeah, because yeah. Of Kraken got us again. Every time that we we do that, it's because a Kraken killed us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I used to lament Nintendo for not buying Rare because I thought Rare's best games were on the Nintendo systems. But I really do feel like this is their masterpiece. Like if they keep oh, working so on good. this game and updating it, like. Right now, this is the best game that they've made, in my opinion. And they've yeah. made great games. I love Rare. The and we'll talk about that more, sure. I'm sure. That game is so beautiful, too. Like just, it is. You don't have to do anything. Like we just Sometimes we just sit and play music. Yeah. And just on the edge of the, the boat. Water. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty game to look at, for sure. Another, another thing we discussed uh, was how like the mixture of like kind of cartoony characters, but also like a realistic take on that sort of like yeah. it's kind of like rare's old style mixed with this more mature style yeah. and it really works for this game like i love the cartoonish flourishes yeah it's, yeah. it's a great touch it's definitely if i i i if you ever wonder what it would be like to be a pirate i think this game does a, yeah. a perfect job of capturing perfect that. replica of that experience yeah um <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, did you have uh, any other games? Those are the, the only two we're playing together. What, yeah. do, you, what do you got? Um, I am Tell playing a yours. couple other games. Uh, I'm playing Apex Legends. Yeah. I, I'm really into that game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I like the Battle Royal uh, game type, but like Fortnite, like it's, uh, one, I can't do the third person in that game for some reason. Like competitive <laughs> third person games. I just like Splatoon. Even that game, I just... It's hard for me to grasp the the first like because usually I'm playing first persons competitively or like you know yeah. deathmatch or whatever. So it's it's a weird transition and sometimes it takes me a while to grasp how to play it. Sure. Uh, and uh, so Fortnite and, and the whole building aspect that of that game I just I've never grasped. Yeah. Um, so Apex is a great first person battle royal game. Uh, has a lot of it's a character based. You never know, played it. It's character based, kind of like Overwatch, in the sense that it has individual characters with individualized specials. Mm-hmm. Um, but they did an update recently, I think last week, where they introduced a new character and they've updated a map. So, um, yeah, I've been playing that game a lot. That's cool. Uh, very interesting. Other than that, the other game I've been playing off and on is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Nice. Uh, this is a great game. I um, uh, again, we're two white nerds, so of course we love Star Wars. 
Uh, and I'm having a, a, a really a lot of fun with this game. This <laughs> is a, a lot of puzzles for my for my liking. I just want to mm. take a lightsaber and kill some Sith, but <laughs> to each their own. I'll deal with the puzzles. Uh, but yeah, it's the game's a lot of fun, so I, I would definitely awesome. recommend that game. I'm excited for that one. Yeah. What about um, you? What, what other games you got going on for reviews? Uh, I'm playing two new ones, two beat 'em ups. Uh, kind of beat 'em up theme this app. Jay and Silent Bob, Mall Brawl. Nice. I used to be a big Kevin Smith fan. Um, I really enjoyed his old work. It made me inspired to be a filmmaker. And Jay and Silent Bob are those characters I enjoyed. Excuse me. Um, this game is a lot of fun. They've developed it on a Nintendo, so it plays oh. like a Nintendo. And like, if you were a Kickstarter starter backer, you, which I didn't even know about this game until it came to the Switch. Uh, two or three weeks ago. Um, but uh, if you were a backer, you could get a cart with it and play it in your NES, which is pretty wow. incredible. Yeah. So oh, it, play, okay. it plays like a NES brawler, which is it's a lot of fun, honestly, until you get to the third level, which when I uh, read reviews for this um, prior to buying it, I uh, there was one review that was like complaining about the third level, and I was like, maybe he's just bad at it. Maybe, maybe he's just not not a good at video games, but no, it fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, haven't gotten past it. So I haven't been able to beat it yet, which is really frustrating. Um, it's what is, like, like what, what, why is it hard? So like the, the beginning of the game, it's just a beat em up. You're going through the level, you fight uh, different waves of bosses through the mall. And then the last, uh, the last character is a boss. And then the references have been great. Like Patrick Swayze on a horse from the animated series was one of the bosses. Um, so there's a lot of great uh, winks to the movies, but then you get to the third level. Not only do you have three battle, oh no, four battles before you get to the hardest section. You have battles with uh, like ice cream men, ninjas, uh, chocolate covered pretzel, who's like a giant beefy man with a pretzel head, <laughs> and then uh, you have to fight Mooby the cow and the Easter Bunny. Once you get past them. You have to jump in a shopping cart and do kind of like a Donkey Kong mine cart level through a grocery store in the mall. And it is designed to be the most frustrating experience because once you start getting a pattern down, the designers obviously wanted to fuck you up because they put a thing to fuck you up in that pattern right away. So you get like, oh, I'm dodging three, three times. There's like old ladies pushing like walkers. There's women pushing babies in carts. There's puddles you have to miss. There's like barrels rolling. It's so fucking frustrating. I said fucking. It's so fucking frust. It's fucking. It's fucking fucking fru- <laughs> fucking frustrating. I uh, I that sounds horrible. It's the, I'm so disappointed by that moment. I really want to get past it. They don't give you any life in the level. Like you can't pick up food to fill you up while you're getting through what? it. You hit checkpoints in the the ride itself. But if you die completely, if you lose all your life, you go to the beginning of the level again. Oh. So there's no checkpoints in the level, which is fine as long as it's not the hardest thing ever. Yeah. yeah. I just don't like being frustrated at games, and this one has been frustrating in this particular level. Normally, I'd give it a, a high. I definitely recommend it. But if you want to try your, your uh, hand at a really challenging Nintendo level, then go for it. Uh, I'm hoping to get past it eventually, and then I'll have an update. We'll see what happens. That sounds horrible. I'm interested <laughs> in that game, though. How many levels? Do you know how many levels total there are? Uh, I'm gonna say eight, but I don't know for sure. I think it's yes, they put the hardest moment on level three. I hate to see what level <sighs> eight is like. I think I think the rest are just beat 'em up levels, and that's like the oh, only okay. one that they made like that. But I don't know why they did it. I don't get it. <sighs> It's not fun. Like, I don't know how they played it. And they're like, they just knew. Like, it's when people play their Super Mario Maker levels. And like, oh, yeah, I'm a pro with this. You made it. Of course you yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. And then you see someone else doing it. Like, oh. Or look at the fails. Right. And everyone has failed at this spot. Like, what? what? <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But my other review, my other, uh, the other game, new game I'm playing, uh, opposite side of that coin. Fun all around. Streets of, Streets of Rage 4. I keep fucking up my words. Streets of Rage 4. Um, I think this is one of the best beat-em-ups ever. I, really? I, uh, it's fun. The controls are beautiful. The sound effects 
are amazing. Like when you punch somebody, it feels good. It sounds amazing. The art style, in my opinion, is super cool. Like it, it's not a throwback to the pixel art from the back in the day, which I think pixel art always stands up through the test of time. It's always beautiful. Um, but this is like doing its own thing and it works. It's kind of got that, it's like a smoother 16 bit. I don't know. They're almost like cartoon characters and you're fighting other, like the, 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 the people you're fighting, the, the, the enemies are pretty well balanced and the bosses are, are always fun. You have to learn different things. I mean, sometimes they get frustrating because they have like moves where they can always grab you. You can't like move or dodge. So that gets hard and frustrating. And it's definitely a challenging game for sure. Um, but I, I have a lot of fun with it. I love it a lot. Nice. I'm interested to play that. We both have Xbox Game Pass, and uh, we yeah. tried to play it once, but it was just so laggy. We, so it was laggy. impossible to do anything. Right. Uh, so I want to give that another shot, though, because I'm interested in that game. I, and I'm yeah. definitely interested to hear you say it's the best brawler ever. Oh, I said one of them. One of them. One of, okay, I, think, well, I think it could be. Still. Not definitively. Not yet. Um, but I, it, it's, it's going to be one that I feel like I revisit like I do other brawlers. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. But, so yeah, that's uh yeah, those are our reviews. We're we're coming to to the end of this particular app. Our first step, we did it. We made it through a storm. We made it through some technical difficulties, some freezing. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be better next time. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. If you're listening to it just as a podcast, I mean, you didn't see any of that, so good for you. Yeah, we're fine. You we're had fine. no idea we're what good. happened. Yeah. You think we're um, insane because we're talking about <laughs> right. right. Before we, uh, before we wrap it up, recommendation. Do you have a recommendation uh, of something that you're playing or reading or watching or anything like that that people should dig into? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been talking about this a lot, and I'm not watching any more because I just finished it, but uh, Star Wars Rebels. Oh. I've never seen that show. Uh, go watch it. Uh, it is a million times better than... The Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> the last movie that came out. The yeah. storytelling in that in that show is amazing. The character arcs in that story are amazing. It fits perfectly into the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Um, go watch if you're a Star Wars fan of any kind. Go watch that show. It, it's incredible. so good. It is an incredible show. I agree. I agree with you yeah. completely. That's my recommendation. The, oh, the go characters. Ahead, no, no. Uh, I'm just gonna say the characters that they made for that show have no like pr real prior attachment to any of the franchise and they made them feel like star Wars characters. Like yeah. they feel like they could fit in with Han Solo, Leia and Luke. Oh, easily. You, yeah. you, I would say within the first, definitely by the end of the first season, but within oh, yeah. the first few episodes of that show, you, you start to care about those characters. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's yeah. great how they weave it into the universe. Their cameos. Uh, oh, so good. It's so good. So good. And then like eventually, like we talked about this before too, the show like feels dangerous. Like oh, you, yeah. those characters feel like they're in trouble. Like it's not one a show where you're like, Oh, everyone's going to live by the end. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't feel like that. Like it feels like people are going to die. And yeah. I, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a, so interesting. It is. It's a kid's show. Too. I know. It, it it's was animated. Developed for, yeah. Disney XD. I think it's rated, I think Y7. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. There's like shooting, so, stabbing and stuff. Yeah, which is which is weird because like yeah, they're they're killing people with no remorse in that show. Both <laughs> right. the rebels and the Sith, like, yeah, yeah. and they're just showing obviously there's no blood or anything, but yeah, I mean that's just pretty violent actually. Um, there's a great joke uh, in the most recent, oh, one of the most recent Rick and Morty's where they oh the face hugger one. I don't know if you watch it, but they're like uh, they think the face huggers are bad people so they're like this is like star wars just start killing we don't have to feel bad about it <laughs> it's pretty great <laughs> Funny. It's like star wars yeah oh, man. um anyway no that's yeah, what great. about you what about I, you? What do you i recommend that as well it's a great show yeah uh, what about you what uh, do you recommend mine uh my recommendation this app is uh is a video game as well i mean not as well but you know because we're talking about video games it's it's also a beat-em-up that's what i should meant to say it's a beat-em-up as well because uh, I've been kind of really obsessed with beat em ups recently, um, as you probably could tell from what we were talking about and also what I've reviewed. Uh, the King of Dragons. Have you played this beat em up? King of Dragons? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know if I've even heard of it. Yeah, I had it either. an old school game or? It's old school. It was an arcade cabinet, came to SNES. Um, 
And uh, I hadn't heard of it either until I, I, I got the Capcom beat em up bundle last year. And I was in a beat em up mood. So I pulled that up and I saw it and I never heard of it. I didn't try it before I played Final Fight and uh, the other games that were on there. I played Knights of the Round, which isn't even as good as this. But this game is incredible. Like it, the character designs are amazing. It's like based off of medieval times and you're like an archer, elf, or like a wizard or a knight, or it's you know, kind of like Gauntlet. You've got like a dwarf with an ax. Um, and it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. And the, the, the enemies are amazing. Like the design of the enemies are so cool. And the hmm. boss battles are fucking incredible. Like it's one of my favorite beat-em-ups. And I'm, I am willing to say that definitiv- definitively. Wow. It's, it's probably my, one of my top five beat-em-ups. <coughs> one of the best. Um, like one of the boss battles, you're fighting a tree full of giant spiders and they're coming down and you have to slice them. And then when you beat them, all of the spiders, dead bodies fall out of the tree. Oh, and it's man. such a cool like moment. I don't know. Like it, the boss battles are great. The enemies designs are amazing. The, the, you know, the, the level designs are great. And the final fight, the final boss is so epic. You fight the red dragon. And uh, he's protecting gold and he like, he's slicing his tail at you and trying to bite at you and shoot fire at you. And Dang. he's gigantic. It's really cool. That sounds awesome. I highly recommend it if you're into beat em ups. Highly recommend it. It's a good Capcom game. All right. Well, that's all we have for you today. And this app, this particular episode. We did it. Episode one in the book. We made it. We made it. Hopefully it wasn't too rambly. We'll, we'll see how it works yeah. out. <laughs> stone guys talking Two about video games. Guys. That might it'll, happen. It'll happen. It'll happen for sure. Uh, hopefully, there's an episode two. We'll let you know. We are going to be streaming games in association with this. Um, Nathan, what are you streaming? Tell us. Well, uh, we're going to be streaming some TMNT uh, Mutants in Manhattan yeah. together at some point. Um, I don't know. I think I'm a, I, I have a PlayStation 4 as well, and I have God of War and Zero. Uh, Zero Dawn Horizon, uh, and I've never played those games. Uh, I bought the Me? PS4 specifically for Spider-Man when yeah. that game came out, and I sunk every second that I could into that game. Another game recommendation: if you never played that game, play that game. Uh, so yeah, I probably God of War or and that, and I'm always playing Apex, so probably a little bit of Apex as well. Nice. What about you? What are you streaming, dude? Um, specifically again, Mutants of Manhattan. Uh, we're gonna do that, co-stream it somehow. We'll figure that out. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to be playing Blair Witch. Uh, it was on the Xbox Game Pass. I want to turn out my lights and uh, play that game and see what happens. Get, get all spooky. Get all creepy. <laughs> um, and then also I'm going to do another drunken uh, playthrough of uh, – I'm going to do Turtles in uh, – not Turtles in Time, sorry. The Turtles Arcade. TMNT Arcade. Nice. Um one of these Fridays coming up. We watch our social media. We'll probably post schedules on the Twitch. Uh, oh, by the way, our Twitch is Ronald oh, yeah. the Short. I'll put them below too. Ronald the Short, follow me on Twitch. What's and yours? Much the same. Follow his on Twitch Over as well. Here. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We hope you all stay safe uh, and stay stay stoned. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye. Later. Love you. Love love you too. Oh.